everyone, it's Recky, and welcome to another episode of Bonnie's World, where I am trying to teach my friend Bonnie how to play Oxygen Not Included, and do it in kind of an organic way, so that things are being taught as they're happening, rather than as particular subjects that you have to go looking for. There's nothing wrong with the guides that do it that way. As a matter of fact, I've used several of them myself, but I just feel sort of like there are times when you just want to see things happening in order. And so starting from the beginning of the game seems to help to frame some of this stuff for newer players. So in previous episodes, we got the bedroom and bathroom up and we kind of discussed the user interface in general terms, but I'd like to take a little bit of a deeper dive into it just to make things a little clearer. So let's start down here in this lower left hand corner. This is your build menu. This is organized according to categories. So you have base, oxygen, power, food, plumbing, ventilation, refinement, medicine, furniture, and stations. Other categories will be added as you develop more research. So, for example, when you develop automation research, you will see an automation category here. The same thing for shipping. The icons will automatically resize to allow more categories on the bar. There are certain things that are, in my opinion, not exactly intuitive about where they are placed. For example, when you go under plumbing, you have the outhouse, which is where your toilet, your uh, duplicates, excuse me, go to the toilet. You have your pitcher pump, which is how your duplicates draw water, and the bottle emptier, which is how your duplicates put water into your water tank. But there's no sink here and as you can see i've obviously built some sinks so where's the sink for some reason the sink is under the medicine category and this is true when you upgrade from the wash basin to the sink and the actual sink is added it will show here as well later on you will also get a refinement category um, and some things will show in refinement and some things will show in stations. Similarly, I think that there's a utility category that appears later on and some things that you expect to show in stations will show in utility instead. Um, for example, the oil refinery shows up in oil refinement, but the oil well shows up in utility which I guess it kind of makes sense, but to me, I was looking for all of the oil producing equipment or oil refining equipment in one place. So it's a little counterintuitive occasionally, but for the most part, your base menu is going to have things that are general improvements to your base. So you'll see your storage bins, whether that's a uh, solid storage or you get your liquid storage or your gas storage bins here your travel items are going to be here so your ladders your fire poles uh, when you get to plastic transit tubes those sorts of things will appear here different kinds of doors different kinds of tiles drywall for backing the back end of your wall so for example you'll notice this bedroom is showing air behind it that actually is showing I guess out into space if you want to think of it that way and if you put drywall in that's now blocked off if you put glass in that's now blocked off and this becomes a self-contained environment and it has a bit of a decor bonus because they're not I guess exposed to the areas behind them if you want to think of it that way your oxygen menu is going to show your oxygen diffuser it's going to show other pieces of equipment that you use to actually produce oxygen, but it's also going to show equipment that is used to improve oxygen or remove things from oxygen, such as carbon dioxide. Uh, your deodorizers will go here, those sorts of things. 
Power is where all of your power options go. So all of your wires, your switches, your batteries, your various different types of power generators are going to go here in the power category. Food can be a little non-intuitive as well. As you can see, we have a micro musher in it at this moment. Basically, that's something that takes things and mushes them up, makes food. You will, of course, see things like stoves and ovens and refrigerators in here. The egg cracker will go in here. But you will also find things having to do with critter management here. And that's because critter management is, in fact, part of food sourcing in this game. So, for example, you'll find... Your critter drop-off will be in here. Your critter traps will be in here. Um, <clears throat> uh, grooming stations for critter ranches will not be in here. They will be under stations. So as you can see, things are kind of split according to use rather than category. You know, you're not going to have all your ranching stuff together. You're not going to have all of your oil stuff together. What you're going to have is your refinery and refinement and your oil well and utility. You're going to have your critter drop off and your critter traps in food and your grooming station in stations. So it's a little weird sometimes, but eventually you will kind of get used to what's where. And for the most part, most of it is where you think it should be. Plumbing we've sort of already covered. Ventilation for me is currently grayed out because we don't have ventilation technology. Ventilation technology is gas management so carbon dioxide oxygen there are lots of gases in oxygen not included and you can see your oxygen overlay here and I do believe there is one is it in the materials overlay yes you can check your gases in the materials overlay and if you just scan around you'll get an idea if there's anything on your map to start with and once you start digging out you will see areas like this that are in different colors and in this case this is chlorine pink I believe is hydrogen uh, so you will see pockets of non-breathable gas orange is going to be natural gas black is carbon dioxide blue is of course oxygen so once you develop gas technology managing your base so it has the maximum amount of oxygen at all times and the minimum amount of other gases is going to be critical because if you run out of oxygen your duplicates will die if you run out of food your duplicates will die uh, if your temperature gets too high or too low your duplicates will die and if they get sick your duplicates will die so all of these things have to be managed as you go forward and that brings us past refinement which we've kind of covered briefly um, refinement is basically when you take one type of material and you process it into something better or something different so for example you will find metal refinement here so that you can take metal ore and turn it into metal bars you will also find plastic here because you have to refine crude oil into petroleum and then change the petroleum into plastics I believe that's part of the refinement process I could be wrong on that one. So if I am, leave it below in the comments. Maybe it goes under the utility section. I'm not really sure. All right, so medicine, of course, is where you're going to find your medical stuff, but it's also where you're going to be finding things for overall health and wellness, like your massage table. And um, I guess it could be argued that the Tasteful Memorial, which is a gravestone, is kind of the end of the health cycle. So it's here in medicine. Furniture is for all kinds of things. So you're going to find cots and mess tables, lighting, uh, decorative statues, and various other things in here. And a lot of these things, when you click on them, once you have collected blueprints, they'll show in here. And blueprints are basically just skins in this game. That's what they call skins. Now you will hear people refer to blueprints, meaning the kind of blueprint that you use in building where you see everything on a plan and then you can copy that plan and put that plan into place. 
that's not actually built into the game. You have to go in through sandbox and do some funny stuff. There's also a mod that allows that. So that's not actually what clay means when they talk about blueprints. When they talk about blueprints, they mean skins. And these are just decorative items to make your base look a little nicer. And you can actually select these. When you build, there's no actual material difference, as you can see. It's just cosmetic. It's entirely cosmetic upgrades. You get to the cosmetic upgrades by signing in on the clay site. They will send you some sort of a notification. I can't remember if mine was in game or through email. And you go and you log into the clay site uh, and you get your first few crates for free through the clay site. And then up here, this little archway which kind of simulates the printing pod in a way. This will light up when you've done things in game that allow you access to other blueprints. And sometimes it will push blueprints from other sources. For example, right now we're in uh, Clay's summer event. And so they pushed down a few items into the printing pod that were specific to the summer event this year. Continuing on, um, stations is where you're going to find things like your research station. You will find power stations here. You will find grooming stations here. If it's got station in the name, it's going to be here. Finally, at the end here, you have this slot for copy. And if you... Let me see if I can get this going. Sometimes this will be empty, but if you select something, it will change to reflect whatever you have selected. And then you can click it and it automatically finds it in the menu and builds it for you. It's just a shortcut to make your building more efficient. So that's the build menu. You obviously have to have the resources in order for these things to be active. You have to have the research or they're grayed out with this little atomic icon that matches your research tree icon. And that's, once those conditions are met, you are able to build things. So digging resources is of course gonna be one of your highest priorities because that's how you're going to get the materials necessary to build the things that you have researched. And I don't know if I have anything currently available that is grayed out because of the lack of resources. Doesn't look like it. But you'll see that, especially when you get automation. If you get automation prior to certain conditions being met, you'll have the automation menu and you'll be able to open it, but everything inside of it will be grayed out because you can't build any of it. All right, so this is where I'm going to leave you for today. And I'm going to return with some information about the research menu because I don't want to just go around the UI and explain things by quadrant. I also want to explain how things are linked and to me it seems logical that the building menu is linked to the research menu. As you develop more research you will be able to build better things and as you develop more research, you will generate greater technologies and better resource management. So I'm going to go ahead and take the next video to ad uh, address the research tree a little bit out of context so that you can understand how it relates to the building menu. And then in the video after that, we will return and pick up the overall UI and finish that up before we get back to playing the game. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, Bonnie. I hope this is helpful to you. Let me know if there's anything else that you want me to answer. You guys leave questions in the comments below and I'll try to hit them as I go through playing and we will see if we can't get all of your questions answered in a way that makes everything tie together and have have it make sense in your mind so uh thanks for watching and i'll talk to you guys again soon take care